One place that's not having trouble raising money is Carlisle. That's our third story. So David Rudson, at the same conference, actually, as James Gorman was speaking at, came out yesterday and said, quote, it's easier to raise money than any time I've been in the business over the past 30 years or so. So my question is, is this good news or bad news? Well, it's great news if you're David Rubin's son. <laughs> yeah, but, but if the, he can raise money, why can't a lot of other people raise money? Why does that mean there's more money chasing the same assets, which drives up the prices that he has to pay? True. That, that is one way to look at it. I mean, the other way to look at it I'm is... I'm half-empty <laughs> <Yes. laughs> from, a, from a half-full perspective for the private equity business, they are having a lot of people come to them and... This sort of market clearly is favoring the incumbents in a lot of ways. And that's largely because a group like Carlyle, Blackstone, KKR, Apollo, what they have done is really build these machines that can ingest, as it were, huge, huge chunks of money. And the big funds, the sovereigns, the public pensions, the endowments, they want to put a lot of money to work with fewer managers. So that bodes well for Carlisle. But what you said I found really striking because then I don't consider these guys then private equity firms. They're just like enormous That's true. wealth managers yeah, exactly that like happen right. to have a PE side. So when we saw Fortress yesterday, right, wanting yeah. to get into direct lending, which raises the question, are you going to be forced to go into businesses that are a little bit more risky? And how do you manage that? And a lot of what these big firms have been doing is taking in big chunks of capital. Blackstone is a good example of this. David Blitzer, who you know, uh, has a group that, yeah. the tactical operations group, mm -hmm. that is able to deploy lots of capital depending on where the opportunities are. It's not just private equity. Right. It could be infrastructure, it could be real estate, it could be hedge funds, and there's a lot of flexibility in that capital. But we now know what Alex's goal is. One trillion yeah, one trillion dollars. Really yeah. I mean, that seems okay, like, I mean, it's a I mean, nice it's concrete like, goal. Like we'll see how far we get. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Just okay. behind Morgan Stanley. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I can sell up a cost.